Hi everyone. If you want to protect any file with a password, you can do so easily using 7-Zip, the best free open source file archiver. By adding a file to an archive, you can password protect virtually any type of file you wish. You can download 7-Zip from 7-Zip.org and then simply install it with its default settings to get its full power and capabilities. All right, now let me just show you how to create a password protected archive using 7-Zip like what I showed you just now. To archive a single file, simply right click the file and then select 7-Zip. If the 7-Zip option is not immediately visible on your File Explorer's context menu, you may either click Show More Options, or you may right-click the file while pressing the Shift key on the keyboard at the same time. To put multiple files into a single archive, you can select the files and then right-click any one of them. Or you may put the files in a folder and then archive the folder. On the 7-Zip context menu's options, click Add to Archive. On the Add to Archive dialog, give a new archive a name as you wish, and then make sure the 7Z archive format is being selected. On the encryption options, enter the desired password twice, and then make sure to check the Encrypt File Names option. If you leave this option disabled, the resulting archive will be only partially protected. One will still be able to open the archive and see its content, and will only be asked for a password when trying to extract them. Then as for the update mode, since this is a new archive, select Add and Replace Files. And finally, under Options, if this archive is meant to protect your files within this computer, you may choose to turn on the Delete Files after compression so that you don't need to manually delete them afterwards. All right, so those are the essential options you need to take note. Now simply click OK to create the archive. Once successfully created, if you try to open it using 7-Zip or other file archiver like WinRer, you'll be asked for the password. And if you try to open a protected 7-Zip archive using the built-in Windows file archiver, you'll get this error message. All right, now should you want to add more files to this protected archive, first open the archive, and then simply drag and drop the files you want to add, and then close 7-Zip. And lastly, if you want your archive to be compatible with Windows File Archiver, you'll have to use the zip format when creating the archive. So here you have to select zip format, and then you have to use zip crypto encryption method. With this format, you'll be able to extract the content using Windows File Archiver without error. But it will not be fully protected, as this archive can still be opened using 7-Zip without a password, although the password will be required if anyone were to try to extract its content. Alright, so that's how you can protect any file with password. I hope you find this quick tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.